Looks like we're live. <laughs> Leave it to me to push all the wrong buttons, folks. It's my first time. So welcome and thanks for waiting that little extra few seconds. <laughs> or maybe I should just say greetings, fellow classic TV fans, which is my little catchphrase. I'm Pat McCormack. I'm from the golden rage of TV and I want to thank you all for being here. It's uh like I said, it's a new uh, it's a new experience for me, and um, you know, I I really am excited for this because I we've got some fun things to talk about. Uh, specifically, we're going to talk about the Brady Bunch and some really cool happenings um, that are going on with these people. I don't usually front load my videos. Uh, front load means you know, um, like and subscribe and until now because now i know how to do it at least with this i don't have to ask you just if you if you if you will please like and subscribe to my youtube channel um thank you very much um again we're going to talk about the brady bunch i've got a real great special guest whom many of you know and uh, we'll get to that but before we start i gotta do this i've i've been doing this for such a long time and i i just have to thank a few people there, you know, there's the support that I've received over the last few years in doing this is it's indescribable. Um, and so let, I'll be brief with this. Just just bear with me. Here I go. First, Christian Taylor, my friend, my bandmate, my lifelong pal. If it wasn't for this man, none of my videos would look as slick as they do because he is the masterful editor that does all those great little tweaks to my videos. So, you know, I love you, CD. Thanks. Next, it's my friend from Georgia, BK, uh, you know, Barry King, who hosts BK on the air every Saturday morning on WBHF in Cartersville, Georgia. I'm on that show with him. He invited me to put a segment on to the show about three years ago, and I've been doing it ever since. And, you know, that's support right there. And just the greatest guy. Love him to death. His co-host, Mr. Alan Sanders, has had me on his podcast, which is called The Wilder Ride. He and Walt Murray, good, very good friends of mine, are just they are such a blast to listen to. I highly recommend this podcast, folks. They're total pros. Go there. Next, my Boston buddy, Mr. T.C. Rastani. Folks, this guy is such a character. I love him to death. I was on his podcast once, and we have been friends, close friends ever since, even though we've never met. And so it's just <laughs> in person, I should say. And so go to tcrastani.com and check him out. You will be entertained. Um, next, Mr. the guys from Radio Lab Labyrinth, Tim Andrews and the boys there, they had me on their podcast once, and it was amazing. It was so well done which means every podcast they do is well done. Follow these guys, get in there, check them out. Radio Labyrinth. Okay, that's that. Well, it's not that actually. There's one more, one more guy who I owe a debt of gratitude that is so large, I couldn't measure it. I just, I, I don't really have the words for it. So he's gonna bring himself in here because he's my training wheels on this. Thank goodness, I'm not nervous. Dave Sundstrom. Hey, Pat, how's it going? My mentor, my buddy. It's good to be here. I, I'll tell you, this is an exciting evening for me. We've talked many times about the the day, Pat McCormick, and it would take Golden Rage of Television live and, and do a live stream. And uh, I'm just so happy that it's here and truly honored, Pat, to be the first guest on your live stream and, and can't wait for many future live streams with all sorts of wonderful like, guests I can only imagine. Well, that's true. I mean, it's only going to get better from here, Dave. I, <laughs> I'm hoping I make every mistake in the book here because, <laughs> you know, that's how you learn, right? I started off with a mistake, so what, what better way to do it, you know? <laughs> Trial Woo! by fire, my friend. Trial by fire. That's exactly right. And like I said, I'm not nervous at all. <laughs> <laughs> They're calming down a little bit, folks. Now that Dave's here, whoo. But Dave, you've been so supportive of me and, and so of your fans, which folks, there are many. 
Matter of fact, Dave, how many subscribers do you actually have? Well, we're north of, you know, 100,000. Somewhere, is it south or north? I can't, I... I think it's north because I thought I saw something like 120,000. Yeah, yeah, it's a, I, we're at 123, but you know what? I mean, <laughs> <That's> it, north. <laughs> who's counting? Who's counting, right? Uh, well. it, to me, it's less about the, the number of people and more about uh, the quality of the conversation that occurs uh, with the community that that the videos attract. And one of the things that selfishly I've wanted to see you do this and wanted to see your channel have success, Pat, is because I love what you do. And, oh. you know, there's a lot of folks out there that make these videos. There really are. I mean, on YouTube, there are yeah. hundreds, no, there are thousands, thousands of channels that kind of focus on retro TV and movies the way we do. But I'll be truthful with you. I mean, there's some folks here, like I, I see Steve Tevis in the chat, and there's some other folks out there. Ian's here, Retro Serials here, and Thrash Pondo's yeah, here. These are, folks that, these are folks that do it for the love and the passion. And yeah, absolutely, they're... It's a hobby that they're hoping at some point, you know, maybe earns them enough money to take the wife out to dinner or something. But but end of the day, they do it because they love the material that you're that we're talking about. And that's not true for every channel out there. And so selfishly, when the channel like the like Golden Rage of Television, like your channel comes along, I want to see it be successful because, you know, you're part of my you're part of my daily viewing schedule, Pat. <laughs> I'm always no. heading over to your channel to see if there's something new, something that I can enjoy. And inevitably, inevitably, when there is a new video, I learn something from you. And even if it's all like stuff I know, the enthusiasm and exuberance in which you deliver the message, it just, you know, it buoys me. It, gives, it makes me happy. It feeds oh. my soul. So happy to be here and, uh, and can't wait to see what, how the conversation goes tonight. We're talking about one of my favorite shows. Absolutely. The Brady Bunch. Well, first of all, I just want to say you do your channel with class. I do mine with sass. So <laughs> <laughs> and this is why Dave's so popular, folks. You've got to check. But the folks that don't know him, this amazing icon of YouTube, check it out. He's the best. Wow. Stop it. Let's let's get on with the conversation. Wait, I haven't started crying yet. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's the Brady Bunch. And you know, I've been a fan of that show for, <clears throat> okay, okay, since since 1969. Yes, it's a telltale of our age, but, you know, who wasn't? Who didn't love that show? I, I mean, I'm sure there was people who were like, no, 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 I'm not smart. But I, I, I loved it. Hey, look, hey, there's folks there. Lance Jaffin, Pat, won't stay long in KC. We will lose quarterback. Oh, yes, I know what we're talking about. Yes, the football game. And uh, Thrash Pondo is talking to Lance, and they're just checking to say, what? Wow, <laughs> that's some interesting stuff. Danny Staten. I am a fan of Danny Staten. Let me say this. Folks, follow this guy. You will be, again, entertained. Um, and, you know, again, these, these are your fans, Dave, that have, that have kind of migrated over to me, <laughs> thanks to you, and... They're just the best. Some of the greatest people. They I know that. I, I, I got to say, I, I, I finally got around, Danny, to watching your video on The Elder, the Kiss comic book. And I totally agree with you. Uh, great, great art. The story was severely lacking. I was expecting <laughs> more. When I found out it was a comic book about The Elder, I was expecting more. Uh, Kiss fans just dying off. Oh, well. <laughs> well, folks, again, I, I really appreciate you all being here. I know who you all are, and I, again, love you, and thanks for the support. So, again, we're talking about the Brady Bunch, and I, I went back into my archives, Dave. You know, I have some archives. <laughs> I've been doing this a while, uh, and I only have about this many subscribers. So, come on, folks, get on with that. Um, but I found this. Uh, it had been a while since I saw it, as a matter of fact, and um, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of an experiment with sound effects. So see if you guys get a kick out of this. I'm also trying to be funny, I'm trying to be funny. <laughs> 
Greetings, fellow classic TV fans. Here's a story of a lovely lady who's bringing up three very lovely girls, and they never once mention the kid's father. I don't think he even had visitation rights. Something else that went missing on the Brady Bunch was in those bathroom scenes. Where was the toilet? The fact is, the censors came in and said, this is a family show, no toilets. Now imagine this. Eve Plum, who played Jan, was up for the role of Reagan in The Exorcist. Marcia, Marcia, Marcia. The fact is, The Brady Bunch has been on the air every day somewhere in the world since it first aired in the late 60s. That's an over 40-year daily dose of The Brady Bunch. What a legacy. And what if they had to go to the bathroom? <laughs> to the backyard, kids. That's right. Backyard or over to the neighbor's house. John Collins, I see you there, buddy. Uh, yeah, you know what? There will be no Lawrence Welk tonight. Thank you. <laughs> I have control of that. Yes, folks, they torture me with that on Dave's channel. It's torture, but I like it, and they have to pay for it, so all it's all good. <laughs> oh, well. Folks, again, I'm looking back at that and thinking about Eve Plum in The Exorcist. Get can you imagine? I, I wouldn't look at her the same again. Dana Plato as well was up for that role, if Did, I remember correctly. Yeah, well, yeah, I think she would probably be a little better. Um, who else did I see that was up for it? was Laura Dern. Hmm, I didn't know and, that one. And, um, and again, this is what I'm hearing. I don't know for a fact, but Anissa Jones. <gasps> wow. Yeah. I think I had read that one, that Anissa Jones was up for the running on that. Yeah. I, I don't know. She probably would have done that well too, but it'd be kind of hard seeing Buffy, <laughs> Buffy barfing green stuff. I, I don't know. I yeah. don't, it wouldn't work for me. <laughs> no, there's ENC, my buddy from Retro Serial. Look, I owe this man a debt of gratitude too. He's had me on his live streams and uh, he's, he's just one of the best people. So check out his stuff for yeah. sure. There's a, uh, I think his newest video, I, I just watched it earlier today or I listened to it. I better said uh, it's a conversation with crazy Joe from mega podtastic about TV superheroes. Great job, Ian. Really yeah, wonderful I... uh, conversation. And uh, Hey, way to get crazy Joe on your channel. He's a, he's a hoot. I saw that. I saw that. I became an instant fan. Matter of fact, I followed him immediately. I was like, where's this guy been all my life? <laughs> so if Joe, if you're watching, Hey buddy, follow me back. <laughs> well again the show I, you know i gotta ask dave what was your favorite episode favorite episode of the original brady bunch we're not going to talk variety hour tonight or <laughs> we're not no. or uh the brady brides or the brady's the very serious brady's which by the way pat you i know you know this now uh it, today is the anniversary on February 9th, 1990. The Brady's debuted on CBS with a special two hour, very special two hour premiere. And, you know, the question I had that evening as I watched it was, where's Maureen McCormick? Holy cow. That, you know, she's the new Marsha was cute, but she didn't look anything like Maureen, I thought. Oh, you mean nothing like nothing that? like that Marsha? Matter of fact, I just may leave that up for the rest of this live stream, if you don't mind. I think it's probably preferable. I, uh... <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, we're back. We're back. Uh, <laughs> I, I have so much control here. It's amazing. Um, yeah, she's she's such a doll. Who wasn't, guys, not in love with Marsha? I know I was, and you know what else we're gonna do in later a bit later here. We're gonna talk about her her book. I read it. It's the uh, autobiography that she wrote called "Here's the Story: Surviving Marsha Brady and Finding My True Voice." And BK on the air, he found his true voice. I hear it every weekend. Good to see you, Barry. Yeah, so yeah, that <laughs> that was a heck of a book, but. I thought oh you were we... asking me about favorite episode i never yeah, answered your oh, question oh, yeah come on keep me on track will you it's the three-parter it's the hawaii episode and for all the right reasons at least i believe they're the right reasons first off you've got a, a location episode right because so much of the brady bunch was filmed just on a set right and so you have the brady's in hawaii 
that means you know you have Marcia in a bikini. <laughs> uh, but beyond that, you have this amazing story. I love the whole Tiki God story and the the all the terrors and horrible things that happened to the Bradys as they put that little tiki necklace on their their neck and uh, from the tarantula to Greg wiping out during the yeah. surfing contest and then and that the was top. Greg too right yeah he, you were he, telling he, me that, that uh, he was doing his own own stunts uh, there Barry we'll call him Barry Williams Barry yes. Williams yeah he was doing his own surfing so that's yeah awesome. go on go on and buddy. then lastly the the main reason why this is my and I mean, the Brady Bunch had so many great guest stars, right? I know where you're going with this. Vincent mm -hmm. Price. I mean, the master of the macabre, right? Vincent Price there on that episode. Just to me, that was the icing on the cake. And so uh, there are a lot of good episodes. And I do really do a lot. I like the theme park one. And I love the Grand Canyon one. Again, you see a theme. I love those ones where they went off set. Right, right. Uh, but the Hawaii one has to be my favorite. How about you? I was waiting for that. I was waiting for that. 1971. Getting Davy Jones. <laughs> what a title, huh? And that's really what it was. Marsha wanted to get Davy Jones to come and sing at her prom. I think that's what, how, how it went down. And of course, she went into the recording studio. And there he was. Girl. Look, Look what you've done, done to me. me. I got to get my prop. I got to get my prop. Oh, sorry. Get me, me, <laughs> and my whole world. <laughs> I'm thanking you, girl, for making the nighttime brighter, girl. For... <laughs> my wife may leave me for that. <laughs> I want to say hi to my. Though, actually, that's a great song incredible written by charlie fox and norman gimbal norman gimbal and it was actually written for a, f a film called uh, uh star spangled girl if i've got mm. that right and it, which never happened so there was their chance and you know they released it and it flopped they gave it to davy jones he picked up the tempo and i love that song did he love chart it. it all in the U.S. or I, was it? I, I think he did. Now I should know this. We should know this. We should know this. I don't know. Here's the thing: if it didn't, it's a darn shame because it's it's such a memorable. It's a hummable. I mean, it's you know, it's pure pop, pure bubblegum yeah. pop. But it is a fantastic song within that genre of music. I know a bit about music, and let me just yeah. tell you: those guys had the recipe for the perfect pop song. And that was it. I'll tell you one thing you'll never do, though, is you'll never go in the studio with headphones and sing like this. And I don't think Davey ever did that either. Some director probably told him, yeah. Oh, what is, what's Terrell telling us? It's a fun fact that Sherwood Swartz originally came up with the concept for the Brady Bunch when he read an article from the LA Times about couples who have children from previous marriages. Yeah. You know, I think the girl's father was alive. And like I said, he just kind of abandoned. No, let's not take it down that road <laughs> for another episode, folks. Um, what? McGanahan Sky Jelly Fat. McGanahan. McGanahan. Sounds like one of my one of my people. My favorite Brady is a fellow deadhead, Bobby Brady. Yes, he is. He's he's proud of that. Um, Mike looking Lynn, looking Lynn, looking Lynn. Yeah, he lives in my neck of the woods. He lives in Utah. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. yeah so I, I I loved that episode because, you know, there was Davey and and he, he was lucky enough. A lucky man to say, uh, sure, I'll, I'll take you to the prom, Masha. <laughs> I don't know why. But of course, that was that's one of the things I, I loved about that that episode. And of course, the show you know, at times can get a little hokey, but something that is happening right now I, I like to say the word happening because on my channel i actually have a playlist of what i call happenings and what it is is it's me talking about things that are going on with our classic tv stars now which you know what there's a lot of them out there still working uh meeting people doing meet and greets and, and special events and um 
a lot of them are my personal friends and I would do these little clips to kind of promote their books or their or their uh, events and this is actually how I became friends with Jerry Mathers, Kathy Garver, Kathy Coleman. I, it just it's amazing because they they really appreciate it. They appreciate their fans. They appreciate everything that they had and they they're not shying from their past. And so I don't know where I was going with this, that I just wanted to mention um, those folks. Well, as long as you're name dropping, I'm going to tell you, my, I'm going to do a little name dropping too, Pat. Please do. I play Wordle with Eve Plum. Oh. Do you oh ever play gosh. Wordle? It's a great word game. You have to guess the word in six tries. And Eve got me into it. She, I follow her on Twitter and she every day posts her results and I've, I've been committed to beating her every single day. Now, Eve doesn't know that I'm playing with her, but I'm playing with her. I'm, and I'm always doing my best to, to beat her. Yeah. Well, I, I've heard of this. I haven't done it yet because I'm afraid. I'm afraid I'll get addicted to it. <laughs> you will. It's very, it's very addicting, folks. If you haven't tried it, definitely try it. And uh, follow Eve on Twitter so you can see how she does every day because she is religious about posting her results. Yeah, it reminds me, Wordle, you people have taken what was a lark and turned it into a colossal waste of time. Where have I heard that? Oh, oh yes. That yeah. That's the evil Captain Kirk. Oh, yes. On yes, yes. Saturday, yes, yes. On Saturday Night, Night Live. Get a life, get a life Captain Kirk. <laughs> you, have you ever kissed a girl? Oh, oh. And I'm like, he's talking about me. <laughs> I've kissed a girl, though. Um, and I liked it. There's that There's that song. There is that song. <laughs> Ooh, all right. Now I'm getting some cool little echoey things happening. All right. Technical fun. And it just went away magically. Sounds good. Sounds good. It probably is. StreamYard does have a feature where they try to block out the echoey thing. But sometimes it creeps back in for a second. Well, folks, I guarantee these will get better. They can only get better. I'm I guess this is this is top shelf already, Pat. I mean, oh, I'm loving on. it. Oh, please, please. My my ego can't handle it. <laughs> Pour it on. Give me more. Anytime, Here's a question Dave. for us, Pat. Do you know okay. the answer to this one? Is it Tracy true? Rock? Is it? Oh, Tracy. Tracy has been such a great supporter. She Hi, is. Tracy. Thank you. Thank you for all your all your love and affection. It is true that a fight. Oh, wait. Is it, it true that true. a fight went on between the Brady kids versus the Partridge family kids? I saw that in the um, in the TV depiction of the what was it the Brady's where the actors they used actors that could have been the Partridge family. I think that was it where they met in a parking lot. And they was were it about, the come on, get happy. That TV was it. Movie. Yeah. 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 And I they were going to find a Ducci wanting to take out Williams. <laughs> well, he did. Yeah. Is that what they showed in the movie? No, but in the, in the boxing ring, if you oh, recall. I thought it was Osmond, wasn't it? Bonaducci took out Osmond. Did he take he did, out Williams yes. too? He took out Williams too. Yeah. Barry, I don't think this is, the, he, he's a lover, not yeah. a fighter. Yeah, totally. Definitely. And a musician. I mean, and a musician. A talented one too. Yeah. And very nice guy. I, I did a actually a video like I was talking about earlier about one of his classic TV star cruises. And it, unfortunately, the cruise didn't happen, but I did the video and he and he got back to me and gave me a thumbs up. So he's he's not above it all. He's a very, very nice guy. And, uh, you know, that's kind of leads me into what the other thing we were going to talk about or the first thing, which was their new podcast. Yeah. Um, love that. this the real brady bros it's uh it's like i said it's brand new dave's dave just listened to it um it's two there's two episodes out right now and you know what they do is they break down the episodes and deep dive into the backstories and it's so entertaining hearing about their take on what was going on because they were kids they were going through you know adolescence and the bizarre thing, and I don't know if you notice this, Dave, but and you, maybe some of you will when you listen to it, is that Christopher Knight still sounds like Peter. I, I mean, his voice at least found the fountain of youth, and he doesn't look bad either. I mean, don't get me wrong there, but I do think he does sound like 
a Peter Steele. And to a certain extent, I hear a lot of Greg and Barry Steele. Sure, uh, sure. He sounds older, obviously. <laughs> uh, but I can still hear Greg. And, and this is the interesting thing as you listen to these two guys. And they, they talk about them being brothers from another mother, or from different mothers. Uh, they do act and converse. And the, the just the interaction, you know, the back and forth. They feel like brothers. It's tr- it's clear to me, and this is one of those things that you know. I just did a video on uh, Wilcox and uh, and Estrada right. and Chips, right? And the whole Saw point that. of it was we can't expect those relationships that we do to, we see on screen to be what's real life, right? But right. here's the funny thing: every once in a while they are. Every once in a while they are, and to me. This podcast demonstrates it, but I've seen it in other in other interactions between all of the siblings. They are, you know, they don't always get along, but they do feel like, I think they feel like siblings. And definitely Christopher and Barry feel like brothers from a different mother. And it's fun. That's what makes the podcast so special is just the back and forth. And it, 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 the first two episodes they've been on, uh, what was the first one on? Uh, the first one was Peter, Peter the and the Wolf. The date where they yeah. dated the older women, Peter, uh, and, and they yeah. talked about. I love the conversation about like yeah. the the a Mexican restaurant was this strange <laughs> exotic thing. The way the show treats it, right? Exactly. And, and the second one was on their their camping trip during first season where they went off set again for a camping episode. The kids and the kids jail, but it it's interesting as as they talk about those those episodes Christopher is probably the one that says this the most, but it's like, it feels like it was 60 years ago. And yet as they talk through it with each other, there are things that feel like it's just yesterday. And that's what makes it so much fun. Yeah. Well, wouldn't that be, that would be, that's how it works. You know, that you start talking about it. You know, I just had a conversation with my lifelong friend, CT. I mentioned him earlier and we went back 30 years and it was like, Oh my gosh, I remember every instance of that. He is my brother from another mother, just like these two guys are. And and the, the great thing is, so is the rest of the cast. It, it just, they're, they're all really dear friends. They get together, offset, and make sure that they stay connected. They, let's face it, Dave, they grew up together, you know? Right. I mean, I mean of course, it was only on for three, was it three seasons? Five. I, it was, I mean, it was only on for five seasons. Yeah. Watch me in my numbers, folks. I get a little squirrely there. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, you know, again, what an experience. What a, <laughs> I mean, well, we, we say five seasons, but then think about it. They did the animated Brady Kids. Oh, yeah. They did the Brady Bunch Variety Hour. No. They did the Brady Brides. Then they did the whole Very Brady Christmas and the Bradys. I think that that's it until we get to the HGTV thing, but... They really have spent a lot of time together. I, you know, and it, it just occurred to me, Dave, on your live streams, you have something now that you can torture with, torture me with just as much as Lawrence Welk, showing clips from that Variety Hour. Oh yes, well, torture you, I will then. Thank you. Torture <laughs> Thank you, you very I much. Will. Yeah. That may be the nicest thing that anybody's ever done for me. <laughs> That's an inside joke. That all Dave Sundstrom fans will get. <laughs> they will indeed. They'll know. They'll know. Yeah. Amazing. What a career. And again, they're only in their second. They they just finished their second uh, uh, episode. And I thought it dropped on Wednesday. You, it, you heard it, that it drops on Tuesday. Is that is that correct? I, I don't know when it drops. I just know it was there for me to listen to yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you can find it on your streaming apps, folks. Just just look for the real Brady Bros. That's how they do it, right, Dave? They can do we try indeed. it? I'll try it. Let's try it. The real Brady, Brady Bros. Bros. I said Brady Bows, man. I, I, I totally miffed it. Sorry. Okay. Um, we're going to dock him for that? Yeah. yeah. I, I'm leaving. I'm out. You, you got that one? <laughs> no, no. Nothing went wrong in the beginning. That was. That was me, too. We that was me about? too. I couldn't oh. stand to not be on the screen. That's why I was there for just a, little, a brief second. Ooh. Yes. And again, beauty of it is I'm living, I'm learning. And right. uh, this That's how is, we do these things. It's going to slicken up. I guarantee it. <laughs> but again, that's that. 
that's the the podcast and again really really recommend that let's talk a little bit about this let's talk a little bit about me wait a minute i'm sorry let's talk a little bit about marcia mm, let's not talk about marcia let's talk about maureen maureen what is her name M mcgillicuddy no mcgillicuddy right. sky jelly fat oh no okay so mcgillicuddy yeah, McGannahan's got Jelly Fetty, that's it. That's one last name I could never forget, I don't think, because everybody pronounces my name McCormick. It's just, there's there's many more of them than there are of us. And from what do I understand... You, hey, Pat, do you like to, to people's, you know, I mean, it's easy to just get lazy with your last name, but do you like people to do the ack, like McCormack? No. In a How's word, the, what's it, the proper pronunciation? Just curious. It's funny, my dad, my dad would find a happy point. <laughs> In between and go, yeah, this is Bob McCormick. Mc Mor <laughs> Muck. That, is that it? <laughs> yeah, McCormick. And okay. get right by it, and it kind of make it kind of counts, I guess, because everybody pronounces it McCormick. And that's yeah, yeah. Uh, I remember looking at a phone book once and looking for our name. There were a thousand McCormicks and three McCormacks. So wow. that tells you. It's unique. Uh, it tells you anything. Yeah. It matters in Scotland. That uh, that I know. Yes. You better not call me McCormick. <laughs> Those are fighting words, aren't they? That'll be a problem. Yeah, that'll, yeah. Mm, that'll be a problem. Well, yes. And so Patrick Sean McCormack, I, I, I would assume is about as Irish sounding as it can get. But, uh, <laughs> she, you know, I, I was like, well, someday I'm going to meet Maureen McCormick and we're going to talk about our family history. <laughs> No. Turns out you are feuding over there. I, I, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So I read this book, this one right here. I had to click it again because, you know, I'm having fun with my buttons here. Yeah. Um, it was devastating in a really good way. I mean, one of those books where you just can't put it down because you can easily picture everything that's happening to this girl. And it's... Boy, she didn't hold back, Dave. Yeah. She didn't hold back. She laid it all out there. And, you know, of course, she should have been, and very, well, I shouldn't say should have, but easily could have been a casualty, just like many of the other. She could right. have been another Anissa Jones. Dana Plato. Easily. Could have and been Dana Plato. Dana Plato, right. Exactly. And, and shh, typecast, the, the, the scourge of being typecast you know, come in and it's like well that's marcia brady we can't use her that hurt that hurt her you know and and it was something else that i noticed about the real brady bros is peter uh, peter <laughs> i call him peter because he sounds like peter his voice even cracks uh, christopher knight was talking about having add right yeah and you know maureen mccormick had psychological issues that were undiagnosed Add to that a really rough, rough family life. As a matter of fact, she preferred the Bradys over her own. And yeah, she couldn't wait to get back to work rather than be at home. And, you know, of course, gets into all the details in the book. And again, so riveting, so interesting. Um, and, you know, I, I got through it. I, and then I, it's the post Brady time, and it's life in the fast lane, full on. It seemed like her intentions were to settle down and 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 get married and and start a family and all of that and then of course the drugs yeah and that was the era that era from the 70s 80s even the 60s they were everywhere in the business and that was the sad thing it was almost acceptable in a really ugly kind of way and a, a lot of people that just didn't know any better Kind of like smoking cigarettes you know <laughs> this is fine all the stars smoke turns out really not a good thing and again with her it, it got so bad so so bad and again here's the good thing she came out of it right but she did lose a lot of roles you know you talked about typecasting that folks didn't want marcia brady right but exactly. equally so there were roles that she lost out on because she wasn't dependable because she right. was strung out because she didn't show up for a, you know, a casting session. All of these things 
played into, you know, this downward spiral. And to your point, I haven't read the book. I bought it. It's on audio. I'm going to listen to it after I get done with the boys. Yeah. But uh, uh, the great thing is, is that it, there's a, it's a survivor story and it's a love story I, from what I understand in terms of this, this man that she meets that helps her through this. And, and, uh, and so I'm excited. Tell me this though. Does it go into, how much time does she spend talking about those, uh, those uh, years on the Brady Bunch and her her relationship with Reed and Henderson and the more her, more her importantly siblings. Williams. Yeah. <laughs> Does she go into that a little bit? Oh yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah, and you're talking about your favorite episode, Dave, in Hawaii. Yeah. There was a culmination in Hawaii. Oh my god. That's, that's where they shared their first real kiss. So they had a they had a thing going. Um, Poor Barry, he just yeah. he just he just couldn't keep them all away, you know. I, Johnny I just, Bravo, you can't you, you know <laughs> when you're Johnny Bravo. <laughs> you fit the suit, man. That's right. Yes, that's the line, right? That's not my voice. <laughs> the suit, yeah. <laughs> Who cares about your voice? <laughs> but yeah, you, you could kind of see what his attraction is. I, I'm sorry, I gotta, I gotta lay off that button. <laughs> I, I just can't help it. Um, but, you know, again, it gets into the stuff like that. And yet, you know, they, they didn't hurt each other. There was no overly deep romance that would cause hard feelings. None of that happened. And, and, and like I said, they, they stayed friends throughout the whole yeah. thing. And, yeah. but she was, you know, they were kids. I mean, teenager kids, like, older teenager kids and it's like okay you two can work together but you can't look at each other okay That's you can look okay, at each yeah. other but you yeah. can't you right know, you can't get right. okay you could you maybe okay just go do it somewhere else kind of a thing <laughs> <laughs> And so, yeah, there was all that That's and that's in there and it's fun. It's fun to read about. And yeah, and, and like like you said, Dave, the fact that she came out of that and and turned into this just powerful, powerful woman, started a family and is just, she's doing great. And you can see that, you can see that, you've seen that in the, the Brady renovation film or, or show. And, and again, you know, I, I just, I'm so happy. I, I felt sorry for her. I finished it. <laughs> poor, poor Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. No, I didn't say that. I said, poor Maureen, what a tough deal. Yeah. Which you wouldn't think. No, you wouldn't. But you know what? It's interesting because I think we all think that uh, the life of a television or a movie star is this this easy road, you know, and that uh, there, there should be no, you know, potholes along the way. But right. you know, life, it doesn't care who you are. It doesn't right. care whether you have a hit television show or you work at the local Walmart. Yeah. We're all we we all have our challenges and our obstacles, and she certainly did. And uh, like I said, I haven't read the book, so I'm speaking only from what I've read in articles and heard from her in interviews. But uh, I, I can't wait to read it. And I now that I've got a resounding recommendation from you, I'm I'm totally in. Yeah, I recommend it to everybody. And you know, I, I worked in television for a brief time, and what I saw was how hard these people work. It's unbelievable. It is a hard job, folks. Sure, it's the glamour and the, fa and the fame that go along with it, but <laughs> don't think that when they're doing their gig, they're not full on at work. Yeah. And, um, you know, I learned that. I learned that from, from playing with my buddies on General Hospital. That was, that was a lot of fun. So, well, Dave, I, I think, you know, with my, just amazing hosting technique. We've probably lost three quarters of the audience. At this no, we point. haven't. Have you noticed that, Pat? Oh, there's Have a number. The number. Oh yeah, I, I can. I can look at a number. Two people, and it's been as high as oh. high forties during the last uh, you know half hour or so. So we've got a tremendous amount of people here. Lots of amazing conversation going on in the chat. Oh. It's just totally it, and and folks that I mean, we've got Susan Burns here. Uh, Appreciate her. Lisa Fields is here. John H is here. Uh, you, let's see who you, else really quick. Terrell you know had, is here. You know I had to put this up. So yeah, you just said that, that right, up, <laughs> folks. Yeah, and and look at this, Steve. Yes, I 
I took your advice. Tevis was telling me that I needed to have my silver play button visible for people to see. There Absolutely. That's the go. award. That's the award YouTube gives you for being an iconic figure on the forum. And folks, you're looking at one right here. Oh, I, I don't know about that, but I do. But I, I, I do know that I was pretty darn pleased to get it. And, and my boys all thought it was pretty nifty as well. Uh, <laughs> we've got Kevin Davis here, Charlie Jordan here, Zuperplex is here, Spike Spikerson, Justin, a.k.a. Black Adders here, Tom, a.k.a. Hungry Jerk is here. Uh, oh. and we have just had so many people show up. Jill Carter's here. Karen uh, Lee Maloney. She just our, said, I'm doing great. Yeah. Well, oh, thanks. is Karen Lee here as well? Yes, That's she is. Awesome. Let me, let uh, me try pushing that button. No, wait a minute. I just lost her. Wait. No, I, there it is. No, there it is. No, wait. There. Uh, I did it. Look at that. I did nice. it. Thank you. Thank you. I, I have to thank all the little people for, uh, for, <laughs> for earning this award and live television production. And I just I want to thank my mom and dad. Okay, there we go. So now I'm going to hide that and look at all these amazing, oh man, you guys are so wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. The Spookiest Spice Rack is here. I don't think the Spookiest Spice Rack has even come over to my live stream. This is a totally new person. It's awesome. And these names are just fantastic. You know, of course, then there's, then there's this one. <laughs> and I don't know what 42 means, but, uh, you know, hungry jerk, you know, I love you. Yeah. And, great and guy. Then, is, so is this Zoper's plex? How do you he, pronounce it? I think the X is silent. I, his name is Dave actually. Uh, but he, I think we call him Zuperplex. Zuperplex. Yeah. And of course our friend and buddy Spike Spikerson. Gotta love this guy. Oh man. That Spike is, you know, you sometimes his humor. <laughs> Speaking of humor, Thrash Pondo Ponds. Oh, oh my God. gosh. When are we going to get a new joke video from Thrash? Has he done one recently? I'm, and I've noticed I, it. I don't know, but I'm, I'm lighting a fire right now. Folks, you got to follow this guy. He is one of the most entertaining people I've ever seen. And you know, as I love him. And I may be embarrassing him right now, but why not? Why not? Why not embarrass Bob? He loves it. Oh, John Collins. I'm going to read this and he's going to send me a check. That's what he told me. <laughs> so here we go. Pat, I know I made a joke earlier about super chatting, but uh, super chanting, but I really <laughs> do enjoy. Thing. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, cha-ching. Cha-ching. Right. Supporting my favorite YouTube personalities who I consider friends. And now I watch more hours than you ever need. And boy, I need some super chats. We all know I have to have 4,000 hours a year to do that. So folks, Keep watching <laughs> and rewatching and sharing. Hey, if everybody would just watch. So we got 46 people here. If everybody, say we go another 10, 15 minutes. If everybody would just watch the live stream 100 times, you're there. Right? Or maybe not even that. Maybe 10 times. Hold on. My math is spotty at best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're exactly right. <laughs> is that I know. Oh man. Well, Dave, you know, it's this has been awesome. And it's again, this is the initial voyage. Um, I'm gonna keep doing this. I'm I'm in. Um, and no, I won't show any clips of Lawrence Welk. Look, see, I got people that are oh yes, Kevin. Kevin, I pr I promise. Matter of fact, I can't even get him. It's this is I, I'm saving that for for Dave, and 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 like I said, he 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 can torture me with that anytime, as well as the Brady Brady Variety Hour. Um, but again, Mr. Sundstrom, you've you've gotten me more subscribers than I did on my own, and <laughs> they Pat, you got them all yourself. I just basically pointed, wait this way. That's all I did. I'm supposed to be over there, right? Yeah, I know, right. I know. We got all screwed up. <laughs> that's okay. Realize I'm hosting this show, not Dave, because that's where the host is supposed this to is be. This is Pat's live stream, yep. <laughs> I, I don't know how that happened. We had it all situated, and then it was the going live thing or what happened. Next thing I know, I'm over on this side. I don't know how to change that other than I think if I did this, watch this. Oh. Hang on. Hi. Oh, See, see. that's how you do it. It's when you enter the stream. I get it. Okay, so let's start from the beginning. 
There's yeah. Okay. Let's start again. Okay, Brand here we go. <laughs> Greetings, fellow classic TV fans. No, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> you all know. Oh, and I see some of my in-laws are here. <laughs> And, you got in-laws here? Which ones are your in-laws? Oh, Robin Lance, I just saw. It's just she's my sister-in-law. Oh, here she, she is. Hi, Robin. Hi, hi, all in-laws. I love you guys. We're, what about this we're... Romac Arena? Is that a relation? It's got um, the Mac in your name there. Hey, Romac Arena. <laughs> no, I don't know. Oh, I know who that is. That my wife? Is Romac nah. Arena your wife? Yeah, I think it is nice no awesome. maybe that's my mother-in-law i don't know those people confuse me but then again i <laughs> i confuse myself just much much more oh yeah well and well, the 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 gentleman life and sad ending i i keep forgetting his name and i steve, steve tevis steve steve tevis thank you i am a big fan of yours by the way and so hi sissy hi mommy whoa wow look at <laughs> It's an evasion. Quick. The in-laws are coming to town. <laughs> and you guys can come here because it's almost 80 degrees where I'm at. I'm we just not hit kidding. 50 people. 51 people on this live stream, Pat. 51 people are watching you right now. Well, then maybe I should go back into the Davy Jones song. You should. Put that back on. Let's hear it. Let's get rendition of the new <laughs> <of> girl. <laughs> I, I know. It's, but he's got to do it with the... You got to do it with the proper accent. Who's this forever a Giants fan feller who who loves his uncle Pat? It it's got to be my nephew. It's got to be my nephew, right? Because that's the uncle. Hi, Steve. I think. I hope. See, that's it's awesome. these it's it's these handles. I I just uh, look at this guy. Is is this guy related to you? Or is this just? Am I lucky that we're just lucky that we're his two favorite TV guys? Isn't isn't that incredible? It's uh, it's dream come true. Finally, okay. Here we go. Ready? It's like this. Girl, look what you've done to me. Me and my whole world. <laughs> Here's what and I then, think, Pat. You've just uh, found your equivalent of the Lawrence Welk. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, yeah, and here's the other thing. When I when I start doing this more, I will actually be breaking the guitar out every now and then. I can't wait. That's I am very excited at the possibility of occasionally get, you know, just a uh, just a little bit of a live acoustic performance that that's going to be phenomenal. I cannot well, wait. Your wish is my command. Yeah. I I, I can play the thing kind of a little. I've bit, heard I've heard sorta. you're okay at it. Yeah. Yeah. Rumors it's, yeah. Nah. Here, here's here's the question. Dave is asking, what happened to the Brady Bunch? Well, they were all found dead in their Hollywood apartments. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, oh, that Brady Bunch. Sorry. <laughs> no, I, I, well, like I said, like we said, right? A couple of the brothers have their own podcast. Maureen is happily married. That you know, Leaves playing and, Wordle. They, yeah, you're you're hanging with 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 the Exorcist girl, right? <sighs> Just don't get her angry. Eve Plum <laughs> has bloomed. I mean, when I see pictures of Eve Plum now, I am blown away at how beautiful she is. Yeah, you know, I always thought she was pretty. As a matter of fact, yeah. during the Brady Brides time, if you have ever watched any episodes of the Brady Brides, they were both. I thought I thought Eve was every bit as beautiful as Maureen McCormick. Right. She's she did she had that middle child thing going on, but well, yes. And I you know, again, what they've both grown into is just beautiful <laughs> girls. <laughs> just what is it about that picture? I, I Okay, 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 enough. No. Um, um, yeah, again, just handsome women, handsome folks. And again, Christopher Knight does not age. There's something wrong with that man. I think it's all the money he's, he makes selling patio furniture or something. Yeah, yeah. He sells a lot of different <laughs> different types of things. And I believe it's very affordable patio furniture that Christopher Knight sells. But the cool thing is about all of these Brady's, Mike Lookland in my area, he does these amazing tables that he does out of concrete. They have, while they have this moment in the sun, right? 
and they've all dabbled. They're in media and they do things on TV, but right. they all have lives. Somehow they, all of them, it seems like every single one of them ended up okay. And isn't that what we hope for these guys that, you know, we watched growing up? Well, the odds are, the odds were against them, you know, and again, let's face it. I mean, Maureen could have easily been gone easily. Just the reading about it, it's like, oh, stop, stop, stop. Oh, okay. Are we endorsing drinks here? Yeah, we're endorsing drinks. Uh, John was asking what I was drinking. I'm, of course, drinking the standard beverage in the Sunstrom Homes. Pat's eat, drinking something a little healthier. Not super healthy, but slightly healthier. There's it tequila. Doesn't have all those artificial sweeteners that mine has. There's tequila in this, Dave. Mm. Even so better. Maybe Maybe not so much. <laughs> Surely I jest. So, so what else do we got? Well, we got Daryl reminding everybody to hit the like button. This guy's awesome. He's on my live stream too, and he'll always remind folks to hit the like button. There's a handful of people that do it, and I just truly appreciate appreciate that when they do it. And I understand. I was looking at another comment from Daryl. You're over 40 likes already on the live stream, so that's phenomenal. Wow, that's fantastic. Yeah. yeah. There's life and sad ending. He says, hey, Pat, my name is Steve Tavis. So, yes, cool and, and again, it's just so bizarre that I've made such great friends doing this. I'm talking to one right now, but all the guys that I spoke to earlier, I have not met in person. And it is just, this, it's so wrong. And yet, gosh, thank you, social media, because it's, it's introduced me to some of the greatest people I could ever dream of knowing all of whom I'd mentioned already. And uh, yeah, it's just, what a wonderful thing. You know, it's, <laughs> sure. Okay, John, John Collins, because I got to read his, he pays me. Pat, one interview I would love to see is if you could do one of your Hollywood buddies would be Marley Martin. She was in The Children of a Lesser God. I don't know if you know her, but she's amazing. Now is Marley, the, is she deaf? Yeah, she's deaf. I know her, yes. I. I know of her. <laughs> yeah. I don't. I don't know her, and you know, I'm I'm not as connected as it, it may seem. Um, you know, I had my little stint in show business, but uh, you know, again, most of these relationships that I've built have been from doing this, and it's uh, yeah, it's just so neat, so neat to meet these people and find out they're just like us, and wanting to please their fans and get to know people, and it's just I love it, love it, love it, love it. It's, it really is. You talked to it just a minute ago, Pat, about the, uh, you know, there's what a time we live in. My son and I, my oldest son, we were talking earlier tonight about like all of the advances in technology over the last 30 or so years. And I, as a, a, a young man his age, could not envision a world where I have as many friends. And, and uh, you know what? I recognize that some of my friendships are more, you know, they're, they're not as deep as they would be, perhaps, as if I were, you know, we were living next door neighbors. But at the same time, uh, for example, our friendship, I feel, is every bit as robust as uh, work colleagues and people that I've worked with and, and neighbors down the street just because of the interactions. What a wonderful thing it is to be able to foster a community here on YouTube and have, right. you know, all right. these wonderful people. And you start to notice personalities like we talked about Spike Spikerson and Thrash Pondo and, and jo John Collins and Good all old these ENC, folks. All yeah, all happen. these guys, you start to really get to understand their personalities, their quirks, things about them. Uh, Tracy Roth Myers and yeah. Lisa Fields and all these folks that, you know, just it's it's so awesome to be alive now and to be able to do something like this yeah. from time to time to, you know. I just hope, here's what I hope, Pat. I hope you never stop making the other kind of videos too. I know that you're exploring different ways of making those videos, but you do them so well. And at the end of the day, those uh, those little two to three minutes, four minutes, sometimes when you go really long, rare five minute videos, those are, those, uh, are just breaths of fresh air every day. So, you know, I, I, I love the idea that you're live streaming, but, uh, and folks, come on! If you haven't subscribed to Golden Rage, you, you, yeah, where's that you, button? You got to do it. Uh, uh, oh, now, I, where's the button? Yeah. Oh, I lost my button. 
Well, <laughs> uh, they the don't need a button because they're going to have angry, ornery, grumpy Dave Sundstrom after them. <laughs> if they don't head on over right now, just open Aww. up another tab on your browser, go to YouTube, type in Golden Rage, boom. Well, you're at his channel already. It's it's really, literally that subscribe button's just down. Wait, is it? It's over there, right there. Uh, yeah, so hit that. Uh, it's somewhere around and there. Hit the notification bell too. Right now. All of that, all of the yeah. above, and you can follow me on Twitter. I, I'm doing pretty good there, and uh, yeah, I, I, I'm in there. So, uh, Golden Rage of TV One, as it says right there, if you want to follow me. Question for you here. Oh, good. Kevin's Robert Reed or Gary Cole? Well, Kevin, I would say Gary Cole, <laughs> especially since I don't know who the heck he is. He played Mike Brady on the Brady Bunch movie. Well, okay, then the simple question, the simple question, simple answer. Is there anybody but Robert Reed that plays Mike Grady, Brady, I mean, better? Yeah, I, I, I'm i with you. I like Gary Cole, and I think he and both Shelly, oh, cheers, lady, what's her name? Shelly Long. Uh, they did a wonderful job of parodying the, the movie. The, the parents, the movie. yes. But I liked the movie. It's a parody. Yes. It's a sure. parody versus Robert Reed. And if you know the man's struggles, right, you know the man, the complexities that he, he was dealing with in his life, for him to not only do this earnest, earnest portrayal of the patriarch of the Brady family, but then also, by the way, Mar or Maureen talks about wanting to spend time with her TV family. Part of the reason was Robert. He loved yeah. being a pseudo father to those, yeah. those kids. He took them on trips, gave them calls. He called them his kids. Yeah. And now and, we understand maybe a little bit more why that was so important to him, too. It's interesting that that, that he was like that and hated being on that show. Yeah. I mean, really, you know, well, he, he did. hated the show in terms of the quality of the scripts and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, I that's don't what think I mean. he hated being with those the kids and the right. crew and all that kind of stuff. I think he loved it. And I think that's why they were able to coerce him back for the, the Brady Bunch variety hours. They you have all this stuff, you get to work with everybody you love and you get to sing and dance. You know, yeah. Like, how could he oh, exactly. I, and I should have been more specific. It was it was it was the writing, the scripts, just it, they got to him. And yeah. he's a very serious actor. I yeah. mean and and came in thinking maybe he was going to be more the centerpiece of the show, um, right? You know, much like uh, um, my buddy. Oh gosh, he's uh, 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 John Robinson, Lost in Space. Guy Williams. Oh, Guy Williams. Yeah. Kind of the same story. Coming into a show thinking, you know, you're going to be the center of attention, and boy, oh boy, sometimes things change like without you knowing, and it becomes something completely different. So I think that's kind of that was kind of why he had some yeah, tough problems with it. And anyway, keeping it on the positive side, yes, they were a real family. Yeah, real Brady Bros, right? Right. right. Real Brady family. There it is. That's our new podcast. We're going to start it. We're going to get them all in here. <laughs> we'll get them in these little blocks, and it'll be a. I'm going to make this... a bold prediction, Pat. It may not happen tomorrow. It may not happen, but at some point in the future, I think we're going to see a Brady on your live stream. I just, I just have this feeling. You never know. I do too. It's kind of deep down, but I'm going to bring it up. <laughs> <laughs> I want to cough it up. Come on, <laughs> Brady, <laughs> Brady. Yeah, I, I think this is pretty interesting. Um, what I'm going to be able to do here, and with the, especially with the minimal amount of contacts I have, there's some pretty interesting stuff in store on the Golden Rage of TV Live. I can't wait. I cannot <laughs> wait to see who shows up, uh, and you know, I, I hopefully, I hopefully, it's been not. I know that I know that it's, you know, anytime you're doing it for the first time, I, I think back <laughs> to my very first live stream, and I. I was out in 20 minutes. I was done. <laughs> uh, but hopefully this is something that you enjoy doing enough that, you know, we see you once a week or with some sort of frequency. In the near I'm going to attempt this. 
Good. Uh, because, you know, when you, just, when you start into something new, you cannot kind of lackadaisically go, oh, okay, well, I did that one. I'll just kind of move. No, you got to keep that full bore until you're happy with how well you do it. And I'm not happy with how well I'm doing this. Matter of <laughs> fact, it's all Dave. <laughs> Pay no attention to the man behind. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's, uh, it's been a great experience. Thank you for your help, Dave. And, oh, my um, pleasure. Hey, John wants to know... Uh... Have you have you thought about are you going to go weekly or, have you, or is that all to be determined? Uh, yes, to be determined. I'm going to attempt it. You know, it's it's while I'm trying to write new episodes for the regular um, for the regular playlists. You know, it's one of those things. Where it's like okay, you got to compartmentalize your time, and I don't know. <laughs> I've not been very good at that. You know. Attention to detail, nah, who needs it? But for me, it's kind of like <laughs> getting those time, okay, I got to do this for this much time, and I just get rolling up, oh, I got to stop, I got to do this, oh, and I got to exercise if I don't exercise. If I don't do cardio, I'm no good to no one. <laughs> just had to Tracy, say that. Tracy Rothmeyer says best wishes. Steve Thank Kevin you, says you're doing great. Thanks, Rupert Steve. Flex says you're awesome. Tom says he's going to show up. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. And uh, Steve knows he's done a live live stream or two. It is hard work. Yeah, you, gotta, you, you just don't show up. You you got to put some time and thought and energy into it ahead of time, and then you've got to be on for however long that live stream's going. Well, and to comparatively, this seems a little easier. I I mean I say that reservedly, <laughs> but what goes into my actual videos is a lot. A yeah. lot of work. Um, I, I write them and I and I film them and just the writing of them is, whoa, it's hard work, especially because I'm not a writer. Well, I am now, I think. <laughs> it's right like I'm an, act, I'm, I'm an actor. You're I'm an actor. I'm a writer. You're I'm, a, <laughs> I'm a jack of all trades. And I can also play the guitar a little, just a little. So I'll be doing that too. We'll work that in. Thanks, Mr. Led. I appreciate it. Yeah. Are you nervous, Pat? <laughs> I went, no, oh, of course not. No, <laughs> not at all. No. Well, thanks, everybody. And I suppose we ought to just kind of wrap it up now, Dave. I I'm, <laughs> I mean, unless I should keep going to keep that those hours, get get those minutes built up. But no, I don't want to I don't want to push my luck. I want these people to come back. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely i think it's been it has been a lot of fun and thank you really absolutely. thank you for letting me hang out with you on your very first live stream part it of history it won't be the last it won't Anytime. be the last Anytime. as a matter of fact basically every time you're going to be on it just in case you didn't know that <laughs> well you just let me you let me know when when you're when you're tired of me and and you know especially if you get you know if you you know if you have someone special coming on you know but i'm always here for you so you know that I do, and and everybody else, which is why yeah. you're so popular. And again, you're a, you're a, an amazing man, Dave. Thank you, thank you so much. Well, it's Tonight, an amazing folks. community. That's what uh, an amazing well, community. Exactly, all these folks that are that are getting on here. Thanks so much. Thank you, thank you all. And uh, I will see you next time, or Dave will see you, because I don't know how to push the button to make it go. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? You want me to hit the end broadcast button, Pat? Please let me try to do that right. Okay. I, I'll, I think I'll maybe keep I can. Clicking on comments. You hit end broadcast when you're ready. Okay. Okay. I hit it. God, what a pain in the butt that was. Wait a minute. <laughs>